Well, good morning on this fine February morning. Praise God. Excited to be with you this morning. I've, I've got some things to say this morning. I was out uh, just the other day, and if you've uh, heard any of the, uh, if you've been in church and or watched any of the broadcasts over the last uh, couple of Sundays, uh, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about salt. And maybe you've tuned, tuned in and maybe you haven't. But I was out spreading salt, uh, you know, on the sidewalks and stuff. And I was just re realizing the true value of salt. How many of you ever slipped and fallen on an icy sidewalk or the steps or something like that? And boy, you'd have thought at that time, boy, salt is very valuable. Well, I want to talk to you today about the value of salt. And I'm not just talking about the stuff we throw on the ground. I'm talking about you, the value of you. Um, and so I'm going to use that analogy as, as, you know, we are salt. And I want to talk to you about that. And here's what the Bible says. Matthew 15 says this, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then no, it is good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. I just want you to understand how valuable you are. Now, Jesus was talking to his disciples, and he said, you are the salt of the earth. Now, you've got to understand the meaning of salt. When he was saying, you, the disciples, are the salt of the earth, that was a huge, huge compliment. That was a big deal. Because if you translate that in the Greek, what that says is, you and you alone are the salt of the earth. That's right. You and me, we are so valuable in the kingdom of God, and we are so valuable to this planet, we are so valuable to this earth, that Jesus calls us salt. We are the salt of the earth. And what does that mean? Well, let's take it in context. Salt was so valuable in the ancient times, in the days of Jesus, it was so valuable because they used salt to preserve their food. In a lot of cases, that's the only way they could preserve it. They preserved it with salt. So it was a means of of feeding themselves. Salt was so valuable that sometimes the Roman soldiers were paid by salt or in salt. So uh, very, very valuable stuff. And Jesus is saying, you are so valuable. So understand this, you are the salt of the earth. And so they understood exactly what he was saying, that you were so valuable. You know, you get the term um, that's where we get the term, they're worth their salt. Um, that would mean that uh, somebody's a good worker. Man, they're really worth their salt. Or they're not a good worker. They're not worth their salt. That's where that saying came from. And you know, we know that somebody can be salty. And, and that's a negative connotation because sometimes you get salty people. That means they're just kind of nasty and mean. But what Jesus was saying here is you are the salt of the earth. You and you alone are so valuable because he is de de depending on us to be the salt. And what does that mean? That means we need to be spreading the gospel. We are the salt of the earth. We are the, the salt that flavors this earth. That means we're witnessing. We're being Christ-like. We're doing the work of an evangelist. We're, doing, we're, we're out there doing and showing who and what Jesus is all about, the salt. And again, I can't underemphasize the importance that you are in the kingdom of God. You are that salt. And they knew that when they were called the salt of the earth, how valuable they were to this earth. And you're that valuable to this world today. Look, we got a lost and dying world. And if you read on, it goes on to say, you're the light of the world. So we're the salt of the earth. We're the light of the world. We have got to do this job. We've got to be out there being that salt. Amen. The world is completely dependent on us to be the salt, to bring them the good news of Jesus Christ. Died, resurrected at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. We need to salt the earth with that message. The message of the kingdom. What is the kingdom? Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. You can have those things. We need to be the salt because you are so valuable to be that salt. The world does not understand the value that you are, but the Lord does, and we need to be that salt. We're extremely valuable. You are extremely valuable. Amen? 
We're the ones that have been commissioned to preach the gospel of the good news. Amen? So, we Christians, me and you, like salt, are invaluable. We are so much, there's so much value that we have to this world. They may not see it, doesn't matter. We need to be the salt. So, what is the value of salt? It is very, very valuable to this world and to those around us that need Jesus. Amen? So, I'm going to say, hey, go salt somebody today. Not assault, but be salt to someone today. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> Big difference. Hey, I call you blessed today. You, salt, are valuable. So, God bless you. The value of salt. Walk in faith over fear today. Walk in peace and joy right in the midst of it. And go be the salt to somebody today. Amen. God bless you today.